Hello, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope you're doing great. In this week, in our math lessons, you are going to be introduced to a new number and you are going to be introduced to a new concept. Our number for this week is number 10. And you are going to learn how to compare objects by length. We will begin our lessons this week with number 10. How do we make number 10 using our fingers? Let's count 10 fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So both hands, each hand has five fingers. Five fingers on the right hand and five fingers on the left hand. And they make ten fingers. Now, let's look at this picture. What do we have here? We have pencils. Let's count the pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, we have ten pencils here. Let's count the hats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten hats. And this is number ten. Number ten comes after number nine. Now, how do we write number ten? It consists of two numbers. We write one, then zero on the right. Let's see how we write it. We start from the top. We all know how to write number one. So we start from the top, a straight line down to the bottom. And number zero, it looks like a circle. This is number ten. And now let's move on to the other concept. Today, you will learn how to compare objects by length. The week before, we learned how to compare objects by size, big and small. Today, we will compare by length. Now, let's take a look at the objects here. We have a pencil here. And we have another pencil here. This pencil is long and this pencil is short. Let's take a look at the snakes. We have a short snake and we have a long snake. Take a look at the rulers. We have a long ruler and a short ruler. Here we have logs. We have a short log and a long log. Here we have envelopes. We have a long envelope and a short envelope. Here we have a short shoe and here we have a long shoe. So when we compare objects by length, we use the words short and long. Long. 